Hello, I'm Liz Zorab. Welcome to Buy the Farm. So if you're new here, uh, we have a very small homestead. It's 0 0.8 acres large, small. <laughs> and uh, Mr J, my partner and I, uh, do our very level best to be uh, as self-efficient as possible. Hasn't been the Sunday Mr J and I expected it to be. Uh, last night Mr J went to a gig uh, in Worcester which is about an hour and 45 minutes away and uh, he went to see our friends Tony and Louise uh, playing a gig with Dark Side of the Wall which is a, an award-winning uh, Pink Floyd tribute act. Uh, he had a really nice time but he didn't get back until uh, 2 this morning and I had stayed up. I was editing uh, Sunday's vlog and uh, so we both had a, a very late night so, because obviously when he got back we then chatted for a while uh, before we went to bed. Uh, I woke up about half six this morning uh, so I've had uh, less than four hours sleep uh, which I'll make up for tonight uh, that's not a problem at all but it does mean I'm a little bit fuzzy today. So the plan for today was uh, to get the duckling pen sorted out to uh, move a little, little, little duckling house uh, into it and get a baby pond set up and get it all ready for uh, the five ducklings to move out into this afternoon. Now, you know, the weather's not great, but uh, there is a very sheltered corner there. There's, there's quite a large area that's completely sheltered from the wind. So we know they'd be all right. Anyway, while I was uh, wandering around earlier on, uh, just checking on everybody's water, making sure that uh, broody chickens were okay and that sort of thing. Uh, one of the teenage chickens, so the uh, 12, 13, 14 week olds, shot out of the palace like a bullet and, and hotly pursued uh, by half a dozen of the others and it was racing around the field with something in its beak and I'm, I just knew from the way it was running around this was not going to be a good thing. So it either had uh, a baby rat or I know a baby bird or something well sadly it was a baby bird and worse than that it was one of the chicks uh, from the eggs under the broody brahma uh, now I don't know whether the, she'd pushed the egg out uh, or whether a rat had managed to get in uh, but whatever had happened the egg uh, was in the middle of her her run which is enclosed uh, top and sides uh, was it, and it was open and there was blood on it and there was a tunnel obviously where a rat has gone uh, it got in and underneath that run um, and whether it took snatched the egg from the Brahma or whether the Brahma had kicked it out I don't know but obviously it had broken open the egg uh, got the chick from the inside and had dragged it out through the hole because I could see uh, the blood marks that I was really upset. Uh, there was obviously no sign of the rat now um, and as it came out I'm guessing uh, that the the chick got snatched uh, by the by the young chicken who had gone off with it. Uh, it was obvious uh, it wasn't going to make it. It's, uh, it. It was pulled out of its shell as opposed to um, had hatched. So, so we've lost one to a rat which yeah it, I'm upset. I am upset because I feel like I've failed in my duty of care. So this afternoon uh, Mr J and I have uh, spent pretty much the whole afternoon reinforcing that pen. So what we've done is put another layer of chicken wire that are the, one of the square holes which I think could be called hardware cloth. Anyway it's got half inch holes um, and that's now going uh, up the sides across the top and down and then along the bottom we've used uh, pieces of pallet wood to secure it on so it can't be pulled off uh, at the bottom uh, and then we've uh, put um, we had we had some sort of pallet cover things anyway it's solid pieces of, of plywood it's not very thick plywood it's probably about a centimetre thick so anyway, so we've put that underneath uh, and a layer of chicken wire underneath that as well so it goes chicken wire uh, plywood which is then screwed into the into the frame at the bottom um, and then at the at the front where 
where the run opens into the house we've put in big pieces of three by two so there are no gaps at the sides which means that uh, the broody mum's house absolutely meets the pen uh, with, with the biggest gap uh, I can just get my little finger into I'm feeling quite secure about that um, the broody house sticks out at the bottom and meets the bottom of the run uh, so there are just there is no access and the the end panel uh, which we do need to be able to get into the run to be able to put food and water in there uh, I've got a I've got a wire panel over that um, and it's held on with bungee cords uh, and that's temporary and very shortly I'm about to staple some more uh, chicken wire the, the hardware cloth uh, onto another one of these end panels so there's absolutely no way a rat can get through a hole uh, it's you know in some ways we yes we should have done all this beforehand um, but actually that was we bought that uh, as a brooder box uh, from our friend Merv who's used it many times before but possibly uh, he's used that uh, in a shed with a concrete floor uh, rather than uh, in a pen that's got um, bedding on the floor that, that would allow uh, rats to get underneath it anyway it's now <laughs> super duper secure I hope. Having said all that, the chicks are due tomorrow <laughs> and, uh, and we, Mr J and I have kind of been listening uh, each to the broody houses to hear uh, whether any have come early. Now this is the disadvantage to uh, having them eggs under broodies because I get so excited about the whole hatching process uh, and this time obviously I can't do uh, my usual Hatch Watch 2018 which is uh, on social media. Uh, I do a, a, ha a hatch by hatch as it pips or as it hatches um, I do an update on social media so that you can follow it um, pretty much in real time and uh, knowing how the eggs are getting on how many have hatched what they are so there's going to be none of that happening this time uh, this time there will just be an update uh, towards the end of the week when I'm sure uh, how many chicks there are uh, under each of the broodies well that's it for me today. I need to go and do that last bit of securing uh, for the Broody Brahma's pen. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow.